Allahu Akbar, Allahu Akbar. La ilaha illallah. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Alhamdulillah. Alhamdulillah. Nahmaduhu wa nasta'inuhu wa nasta'afiruhu wa nu'minu bihi wa natawakkalu alayhi. ونعوذ بالله من شرور أنفسنا ومن سيئات أعمالنا من يهده الله فلا مضل له ومن يضلله فلا هادي له ونشهد أن لا إله إلا الله وحده لا شريك له ونشهد أن سيدنا ونبينا ومولانا محمدا عبده ورسوله صلى الله تعالى على خير خلقه محمد وآله وأصحابه أجمعين أما بعد فقد قال النبي صلى الله عليه وسلم وشهر أوله رحمة وأوسطه مغفرة وآخره عتق من النيران أو كما قال صلى الله عليه وسلم أما بعد Respected elders, my dear brothers and sisters in Islam Today is 6th of Ramadan al-Mubarak and the year is 1443 Hijri and I talked about this month of Ramadan last Friday that Prophet Muhammad <coughs> divided this month into three parts. When we talk about three parts, that means one third is first Ashara, then second Ashara, and then the last question. A long hadith of Prophet Muhammad وسلم, out of which I have taken one part in which Prophet Muhammad وسلم, in short words explaining about the month of Ramadan. He said, Huwa shahrun awwaluhu rahmah. The first ashara of Ramadan al-Mubarak is rahmah. And I mentioned last Friday that rahmah is being soft-hearted and I said that those who whenever they hear anything sad they start crying that means they are soft-hearted and another meaning of Rahmah is Tawfiq 
That means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us divine strength to do any act that's called tawfiq and we can see the tawfiq as soon as the Ramadan al-Mubarak comes we see people come in groups they come into the masajid that is tawfiq all those who were away 11 months as soon as Ramadan comes you can see them coming to the masjid that means Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given them tawfiq to come to masjid had you been there any tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala we couldn't have come to masjid There was one prince, he wanted to go for hunting. He told his servant that I would like to go for hunting tomorrow if you can keep the rifles and the horses ready. So the servant kept everything ready in the morning. They set off. They are hunting in the jungle. That servant sees one masjid, a small mosque. And he says to the prince, he says, Huzur, if you allow me, I would just like to go and pray. Very reluctantly, Prince says that this is the reason I don't come with you because you waste my time. Quickly go and come back. So the servant hands him over the rifles, gets into the masjid, and Prince is standing outside with the rifles. Qudrat of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala This scenario is such that By look of it It looks like that There is a palace And one king is sitting inside And the security guard with the rifle is standing outside the palace Five minutes, ten minutes, fifteen minutes, half an hour, one hour, he is sitting in the mosque. The prince shouts from there, he says, Oh Ramadani, why don't you come out? He says, I want to come out, Hudur, but he would not let me come out. There is no one in the mosque. Who would not let you come out? He says, Huzur, the one who would not let you come in would not let me go out. The one who has given me tawfiq to come and sit in the masjid, he is not letting me out. And he is the one who took tawfiq from you and you are just standing outside the doorstep. With the tawfiq and divine strength of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, we come to the masjid. And all these tawfiq, we do all the ibadat of Ramadan. And very important thing as Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept some of the effects taseer you must have heard so many doctors you know those naturopaths there are so many herbs different kind of qualities different kind of effects Fruits, 
Some fruits have got iron. Some fruits have got vitamin C. Some fruits have got potassium. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala kept this taseer in the times also. As he has kept the taseer in fruits, as he has kept the taseer in herbs, as he has kept the taseer in minerals, he has kept the taseer in time. For example, day has got different effect, night has got different effect. In Quran Kareem, for my Kiwaja al Nalayla Liba, some Waja al Nahara Maasha. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has created night for you to rest, for your comfort. And he has created day to earn, to look for ma'ash. Similarly, there is the last moment of the night. They have got different effect than the initial part of the night. As it is mentioned in Surah Muzammil. Parmayake inna nashi atal layli hiya ashaddu wadham wa aqwa muqila. When you stand for salat at the last moment of night, that is the best time so that your mind and your heart, your tongue and your heart can be synchronized. And you can pay more attention. You feel more with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Those moments of the night, that means the time has got effect. Ramadan al-Mubarak has come. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us tawfiq. Everyone's heart, the kafiyat, the state is different. When we get tawfiq from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, it's not a big deal. What we should do, Many people, I mentioned four things last Friday. There was taqlil al-ta'am, eat less, taqlil al-kalam, talk less, taqlil al-manam, sleep less, and taqlil ikhtilaat ma'al anam social gathering less two of them belong to your own soul your own self taqlil ta'am your business you eat less taqlil al-manam Sleepless, that's your own prerogative. But taqlil al kalam, talkless. And taqlil ikhtilaat ma'al anam, less social gathering. These two are very important because these are the two, if we don't follow them properly, there is a fear that we might lose all of our ibadat. That means control your tongue. If you talk more, you might do ghibat. 
backbiting. So talk less. And another thing which is very, I think, criticizing. If I have never fasted in my life and this Ramadan I get tawfiq, what I will do? I will come to Madrid and criticize. In fasting you don't do this, in fasting you don't do that, in fasting you don't pray like this. Allahu Akbar, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made you authority just by keeping few fasting days. Control the tongue. By <coughs> criticizing you might hurt someone. By hurting someone you might lose your fasting. Your salat, your all ibadat. So it is very important. We should turn the switch off of criticizing. Hadrat Rai Puri Rahmatullah He used to on 29th of Shaban He would call all the Mutawassaleen and all those followers and everyone And he would Call them and meet them And what would he say? He said today we will sight the moon If moon is sighted I want to meet you if I am living end of the Ramadan, I will see you after Ramadan. Adrat, are you going anywhere? No, I am here. But I wouldn't be available for you people at all. All the activities turn off. Only Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Only my fasting. Only my tarabih, only my adhakaf. Can't we do this for one month? Eleven months we did everything. Just leave everything today. And this month is Ramadan. Where are those days when he said that gave him a bag and he said, put all the mail which is coming into this bag, I will see them after Ramadan if I am alive. Where is that spirit gone for Ramadan? We have all those businesses going on, fine. But at least what belongs to us, what Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has put on sale for us in during the month of Ramadan, we should just try to get benefit out of it. We should try to avail it. And the only way we can do it is that keeping our tongue control, in control. We should be quiet. First, Hadith is that do not criticize the others. Look at yourself, your own self. <coughs> Protect yourself. وَإِذَا كَانَ يَوْمُ صَوْمِ أَحَدِكُمْ If someone is fasting one day, one of you fasting, فَلَا يَرْفَسْ وَلَا يَسْخَ Don't Talk rubbish. Don't talk vulgar. And do not shout. Do not raise your voice. For in sabbahu ahadun aw qatalam. But still, if someone comes to you and swears at you and fights with you. Just say, I am fasting. Leave me alone. I am fasting. SubhanAllah. It is protecting. Your fasting is the shield for you. Anything comes from shaitan. Think of fasting. It will go away. 
tell them that you are fasting, it will go away. All those negativities which come to you, they'll go away. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has made this month all those nawafils the reward of those nawafils is just like fard fard ibadat has got more reward so nawafil become fard and fard becomes 70 times more Don't you think that this is the time we should get the best out of it? Shaitan would say, hey, keep away. Masjid, yes, go at the right, at the end, and that's it. Pray here, pray there. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is giving you a chance in this month to get the best. So get the best. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given you all the rewards multiplied. Get all of them. See, some people they play with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala too. We should correct ourselves. Since it says that fard is more 70 times more. So if they become liable for zakat, let's say in any other month, they say, I will pay my zakat in Ramadan because zakat is fard. And if I do my fard in Ramadan, I will get 70 times more. It is not. Zakat is fard when it is spent one year. May it be in Rabiul Awwal, may it be in Safar, may it be in Muharram, any month. When you became liable for Zakat, that is the month you, you should pay your Zakat. <coughs> but if you say that I will pay in Ramadan because I'll get 70 times, no. In fact, you have just missed some time for your Zakat. So to earn more 70 times, what we should do, we should have respect for Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala's ahkam. The command of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is to fast during this month and it is fat on you. If we don't protect our fasting, tell me, would we get full marks now? We would be really very unfortunate that Ramadan comes and we don't get the benefit out of it. It would be so sad. If my brother comes to me, talks to me something which I which aggravates me, for example, boils my blood. This is not the time. Just calm down. Say, I'm sorry. Look, it's Ramadan. We'll talk about that in some other time. Thinking of property, thinking of many things, criticizing others. You have got no beard, you have got this, you have got that, you have got... Who made you authority to do this? Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala will question you first but then why did you break someone's heart you, you think you're fasting who gave you tawfiq for fasting Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala did if you want to love Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and if you want love from Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala you should love his servants not that you can break their heart and by criticizing or by giving any fatwa any time, ever any. That's wrong. Wallahi, I am telling you, the time has gone so wrong. The masajid used to be one masjid in one town and it used to be full. Now, there are so many masajid 
Where are the people? We have lost them. They have gone away. Their deen is weak. Our deen has gone so weak that we cannot get them together again. This is the month we can join again in Salat. We can join in Iftar. We can join, we can find the time to just sit together and talk about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. Talk about the greatness of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. This is huwa shahrun awwaluhu rahmah. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given us tawfiq in this first ashar. And what is our responsibility? Qur rabbi khfir warham wa anta khayrul rahim. Abundantly we should recite this. Rabbi khfir warham wa anta khayrul rahim. Our intention, we get the reward for. If we have intention for good, good deed, even if we think and don't do it, Allah gives us reward. If you any bad deed, it comes in our heart, but it did not take place, for example, no sinful. How Rahim Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is ready to give you reward, ready to multiply the reward during this month. And has stopped everyone to stop writing the sins, writing the bad deeds. See, there is one I have read somewhere that if someone commits bad deed, so the angel Kiram al Katibin, he asked this right side angel, he said, Shall I write it? He says, Wait. Then after a while he says, Shall I write it now? He said, No, wait. Time is passing, day is about to finish, he says, shall I write? He says, still there is a chance, he might make tawbah, don't write it now. And then the day passes and he does not make tawbah, then it is written, one. When someone commits good deed, it is committed one, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has given instruction for angels to write ten times. No delay in it. It's committed here, written there. How Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala is Arhamur Rahimeen. So this first ashara of Ramadan is Rahmah and our it is our responsibility is to do our ibadat, do our fasting, do our iftar, do our suhoor. Another thing, suhoor, there is a reward for sahri. Eating sahri is a reward. Those who miss, they miss a big reward for. Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala has kept the reward for fasting himself. See, like good deed, you get ten times reward, not for fasting. Fasting, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala said, it is, I will give jaza. إِلَّا الصَّلْمَ فَإِنَّهُ فَإِنَّهُ لِي وَأَنَا أَجْزِي Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala says, no, all of them but rosa, but fasting. Fasting is for me and I will give the reward for fasting. So that means you can imagine those things which are not disclosed by Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. You can think that reward must be 
humongous. You cannot even, you know, encircle the reward for fasting. So protect our fasting and don't think that I should whatever I am doing, whether it will be accepted or not, I am very sinful, I am so bad, I am bad in society. Well, whatever I am doing, whether it is acceptable or not, these questions are from shaitan. Shaitan makes you think that way, so that you can run away. What you should do, do whatever is in your control. Whatever you can, what, what's in your means, do that only. Rest, leave it to Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. One shayir says, Farmaya ke laga rahe usi mein jo hai ikhtiyari Laga rahe usi mein jo hai ikhtiyari Na pad amr ghair ikhtiyari ke piche Don't go after the thing which are not in your control Just go for those which you can control Or ibadat ki ye ja maza go na aaye عبادت کیے جا مزہ گو نہ آئے نہ آدھی کو بھی چھوڑ ساری کے پیچھے Keep doing your عبادت Don't worry about whether you are getting the the joy out of it or not Just don't think about it Let it be And whatever even if you are doing half of it keep doing Just to get the full benefit you might leave your half So this is we should concentrate on our ibadat. This is the ashar of tawfir. We will be talking about some more asharas, inshallah, coming Fridays. May Allah give us tawfir. Wa akhiru da'wana. Anilhamdulillahi rabbil alameen.